Hey guys, Cosmos here from Dolly Games and here we are in Leo of Angels AMC game servers and we are here continuing my Archer Hunter progress, progress videos with the build up of uh, the character and you see now I'm up to 784,000 battle rating so that's considerably higher and that's mostly because of the addition of the mountain god into the party and I've been investing into him. And, and growing his strength and therefore the battle rating has been going up so we can have a look at the party right now so um, as I mentioned before all the investment was going into my main hero and you see he has battle rating of uh, 280,000 um, and um, here this was a mistake as some of you have made uh, a comment so it's a wasted item but for now I'm wearing it uh, so remember when you have mythic uh, gear to upgrade them first before um, you know converting them into imperial so they can take a bunch of levels of upgrades before that anyway so um, all the investment was going into the main character um, so maybe if you're interested in the stats uh, my emblem is still weak um, and then uh, I got the clothing 8 and 10 here Let's go back to equipment runes. I'm up to Fury 11,000 and a half BR coming from clothing. Um, I'm especially, of course, interested in the helmets because I need as much health as possible. Now I have 730,000 health. The reason why I need so much health is because from Hoder's Bow or Vidor's Vidal's Blade, so the mythic uh, item. You get every turn um, HP regeneration uh, 6%. So, and the 6% is, of course, based on your HP. So, the more HP you have, the more healing you get every single turn. So, that's a, um, a game changer, I would say. So, um, that's the runes. The enhance is also quite high at 76% bonus to the gems. Marriage, I haven't done yet. Um, I'm always switching around here between uh, multi shot if I want to uh, fight uh, groups of enemies and puncture, uh, if I want to fight something like a world boss, for example, or other players. I like a jungle, a jungle law because it has no negatives, it just increases um, the damage and also gives a chance to cast the ultimate and, of course, the mortal strike here. Skills have gotten a lot better. I've been able to max a lot of them out, but I'm not done yet. Um, I'm now working on uh, the physical defense and the mag magic defense, and then I'll be done. Um, of course, I can uh, increase the desperate prayer, but I'm not planning to use it because it's draining HP per turn, and I don't particularly like it. It's a little bit more damage increase than um, than the jungle law, but the jungle law also has. 25% uh, chance to cast ultimate which the desperate prayer does not so that's why I plan on continue with the jungle law so uh, of course until um, much more powerful um, skills perhaps so and then uh, we got the mount and uh, there's a new addition stable so we'll go over that um, later as well uh, runes I showed and uh, now let's have a look at the mountain god so since you saw him last, he's grown a lot, so he's now at 163,000, under 64,000 bell rating. And he has passed Nether, Nether Knight, um, uh, who was my next best hero, and he had about 100. Uh, and now Mountain God has become my next best at 163. And um, it's, it's very expensive generally, and um, I've been investing a lot into him, but of course, um, not every single thing I'm still um, investing into my main and um, for some things I'm doing half to the main half to mountain god like runes I do half half so for example here if I see 4232 what I do is I do a one click I click on max to see what's the max and then I take half of that so 280 I'll take 140 and I'll give that um, to the mountain god and then I'll go back to my main hero and and give the rest to my main hero so for runes I'm doing half half um, for um, other th things like of course for uh, training and uh, that of course my hero cannot take directly he'll he'll have to that is with the soul stones uh, he'll have to take via the mount and um, in that case I do um, 
my mount is where is it um it's it's relatively high at freedom plus 26 uh, yellow so that's a lot a lot higher than uh the mountain god so um train so um that's why i'm still putting most of this into into the mountain god so um see here i have two, 2600 if i do one click it uses 1000 so it's actually quite expensive to go for uh, to to get each additional star at this level um and but i try to do one per day if possible like now it was good to do one and um i also upgraded him quite a lot upgrade plus 18 so 90 percent that that is sort of similar i think to to my main so let's go have a look at my main also exactly plus 18 it's a little bit easier for uh heroes i i find because um because of these special items uh, hero marks and the hero marks allow you to jump an upgrade level um um if of course if you have the hero marks uh, it allows you to jump the upgrade level and um, I noticed this actually quite late so I did a lot of the upgrades with the, uh, with the blessed stones so let's go back to that window so I actually spent a lot of the blessed stones and, and only the last level from 17 to 18 I remember to click on uh, perfect upgrade and what I suggest to people is uh, always click on perfect upgrade and see that it says your own zero just to make sure that you don't own it because if you do you might as well use it um, and then um, not end up uh, spending the blessed stones so um, that's where he is at I've also been slowly upgrading his um, items gold is the major problem for me uh, right now um, and I think that's where a lot of the bell rating also will come from uh, from additional enhancements of um, of the items I think my main is perhaps okay-ish, uh, but not really not great at plus 40 and, and a little bit plus 50 um, enhancements. And Mountain God is just getting there. He's just starting to do uh, the plus 30s. So once I do the last two items, which is the weapon and the boots, then he will get the plus 30 combo bonus. And then I'll start working on the plus 40s. He's still not powerful enough to take the front row. And um, strangely, I've put him um, right behind my main hero over here. And strangely, it's working out really good because he keeps on putting um, those shields, which are uh, like you see here, Eternal Rampart level 7. Battling skill adds a HP shield to all party members equal to 20% targets total HP so uh, my target uh, so target in this case for example let's say it's the let's say they killed everybody and it's only the the main and him left which is what happens in the more difficult fights so 20% of uh, let's say a million that's a 200,000 HP shield and he keeps on putting that again and again which is great he also of course puts damage reduction on the back row so um, in this case now on level 7 27 percent uh, reduction so uh, basically it's also very becoming very hard to kill him because the shield also the HP shield also applies to him but I think once I have similar health like my main um, I will uh, also put him on the front row and um, and then yeah we'll we'll see maybe a more powerful hero in in the back there in his in his position um so uh let's see what else i didn't cover of course i i will want to evolve him at some point let's look at the enhance um he has 53 percent enhance which is also pretty good i think it could be much better um but um it, it's already pretty good and uh, I've pumped up a lot of element uh, upgrades into him. He's got um, basically orange, fire level 5, ice level 6, electro level 5. 24,000 bell rating is coming only from this. So uh, a, lot, a lot of these element crystals I've put into him. And over time I've been um, also giving him more gems and that's where also my bell rating has been growing. Um, in, initially I didn't have the socketing rods to give him um, the, the gems um, and that's why he had lower bell rating so if we go to socket uh, if anybody wants to see my main has now also with the magic socketing rods um, a bit more powerful gems 
so I'll just quickly click on the different equipments and I don't have the last slot open in a lot of the cases because it requires 300 socketing rods which is very very expensive and the mountain god um, he still hasn't uh, got the fourth uh, the fifth slot open um, so I have to work on that before I continue to more powerful ones but he has uh, four slots open and on those four slots he has a minimum of level 8 so that's why he's getting also the gem combo level 8 uh, my main as well is getting the same so I'm trying to bring him up um, to be at, at the same level as my main if possible um, but probably my main will be always a little bit stronger but still I'm trying to invest a lot into him and that's where a lot of the bell rating is coming from because when you have nothing like for example um, you know um, Nether Knight and Genie and Celestial Angel they're all very low bell ratings with simple equipments and such so uh, when uh, when you replace uh, an older hero with a new powerful hero and start investing into him you get immediately a very big boost in the bell rating so 785000 now and um and i think when i re when i put another another powerful hero like mountain god it will easily go over a million so um so that's a bit of uh, overview of the party right now i think um what I want to do now is um, we're gonna bond with Angel because um, I see I'm very close to leveling to 66 and it would be awesome if I could do it in this video but I'm not sure if I can get enough experience just from bonding and blitzing but we're gonna try we're gonna go to Raphael he's already level 73 so he's getting stronger and stronger and we're gonna bond with him say 200 times that should give a lot okay angel experience and I didn't notice if this moved but um, I thought you get also experience from that or not I'm getting confused now um, anyways he's up to 76 so that's good I get also a promotion here from Marquis 2 star that started flashing so I must have passed the prestige requirement 2.5 million so I guess I just passed it uh, 2.54 so we're gonna unlock that um, and get to Marquis 3 star so that's awesome so next one will be 4 and uh, wait what was the requirement uh, only 128 bell rating from title upgrade so it's not really huge it's more I guess for um, for the looks of it um, so next one will be 2.9 million so also it's gonna take a while I'm curious if the if I was getting any experience from bonding so let's see I have uh, what is that 811 I have 3 3 million basically and 16,000 so let's do another hundred no actually I'm not getting experience from bonding I don't know why I thought I was so that's not gonna work out so anyways it's, it was it's good to bond with the angel and make him stronger and stronger um, and he's quite close let's put another 50 good so he's gonna be level 77 now um, getting stronger and stronger and there is a lot of work to be done in angels I, I was uh, looking into them yesterday and um, there, once I am done with Raphael, uh, basically once he gets his highest level 90, which will take a bit, I have to work on getting uh, all the other angels, ideally, you know, in, in a perfect world, um, all the other angels also to maximum level. And the reason for that is um, in Covenant, which is over here. So if we look at Raphael's Covenant with Seraphim, for example, I have two of these angels they're both active now and you see by having them I have um, additional attack of 1700 for the heroes which are in the back row um, and but this is only the first level so if I want to get more stats from this um, covenant or friendship or whatever you want to call it then we need to um, yeah, activate the next level so if you put your mouse on it it says to activate level 2 Seraphim needs to reach 60 because Raphael is already 77 
but you need to get Seraphim also to 60. For the level 3 you need Seraphim 80 and Raphael 85, so it's very drastic requirements but also pretty good stats which are being added. There are some good ones with HP, yesterday I unlocked um, a couple of angels from the arena shop that I hadn't done in a while. Um, and I think they made a covenant with Amora. For example, here you have Nisa and Amora giving 4000 HP. That's pretty good. Um, this one was good. The triple angel combo with Amora. Um, I can't pronounce this. Aeod um, and Poli. Uh, all heroes in the battle are getting 6600 HP. This is absolutely wonderful. So. Um, basically this is why you need to uh, also work on unlocking as many angels as possible. The next reason why you need to unlock a lot of angels is to do worship. So if you go to worship and you, you do one click worship to um, basically worship all your angels. It's going to give you a heart and you see I got now 136. I had a little bit before and now I have 136 hearts. And with the hearts you can invest um, into different buffs. So here I have max HP plus 7% 7 and I've already bought paid twice 5 days. So now you see here 9 days and 12 hours remaining for this buff. So um, you can click again even though you already have it and you can see the icon is here in the, in the top left corner and um, it adds up so you see now on it is 9 days and 12 hours if I click on 5 days again I pay the cost and you see here this will become 14 days and 12 hours so if you have the hearts you can pay the cost what I don't know at this point is is if uh, if and when this buff changes but for now I have it at, at, at HP plus 7% um, and um, which is pretty good for me and um, I'll try to keep maintaining it which should be easy because as you see I get more than a hundred hearts per day from, from all the angels that I've unlocked I have a whole bunch of them and um, and that allows me to easily buy um, five day buffs so and that's also important in um, in the angels. So um, those tips I shared. So let's go and do a blitz and see if that'll get us um, to a level up. Ideally, it would be cool to to catch it on the video, but it's not super necessary. So we'll do 30 um, 30 for the 150 stamina. Okay, that got us halfway. So I'm guessing it's not enough to level up. Let's do another 12. No, it's just, it's very close, but I still need uh, some more effort to level up. We're gonna click the Raiders. I'm running out of shards quite fast. So, um, with those tips said, I have one more tip to, to you guys um, from the regular shop, which is something I discovered very, very late, and I wish I knew it earlier. It would have helped a lot. Actually, a couple of tips here. First tip is um, I started buying Eternal Spire card every day. It's 150 diamonds, so for those people who can spend that, I suggest to buy this every day because you can only buy one. So we're going to go ahead and buy that and then it's going to say 0 out of 1. The reason why you want to do that is because there is an event that comes in the hot events which allows you to, um, uh, not, not allows you but which gives you more bonuses um, for doing um, Eternal Spire. And I'm just going to find it here. Eternal Spire Conquery it's called. And it, it gives you more and more and more and more runes, up to 1,000 additional runes, if you can do eight times spire. Now, eight times is quite difficult. So, um, what I have done here is I've blitz three. So we're gonna go to to my spire, and um, what, I didn't click spire. So we're gonna go to my spire. I've blitz three, so that should um, it should start counting three and then you need those cards in order to get to eight and um, and you cannot collect that every day so here um, for example is the screenshot that I took yesterday where I collected all um, all eight times so you see that's a lot of additional is more than 2,000 additional runestones for doing eight times the spire 
So let's close that. Sometimes it gets stuck and you just have to switch around the window and it's back to working order. Now um, don't straight away, now you can do 3 and of course the difference between 3 and 8 is 5 but don't uh, don't use up straight away um, 5 cards. Um, I did that once and it was a mistake so because the first time you extend here that costs a hundred so it's 50 diamonds cheaper so the first extension you should buy over here and after that it becomes 200 so but the first extension you can buy here and then you need four cards so let's have a look in my bag I actually have only two cards so I won't be able to get to eight and the way I'm I, I'm playing now is if I can't get to the maximum I don't do it at all because the, the biggest uh, rewards are always on the maximum let's get back to that spire conquer again so you see here if I would pay a hundred I'll unlock this one and if I do two more I'll unlock this one and this one but the biggest rewards are over here so I'll need two more cards before I'm able before I will go ahead and, and do all the eight here but for now I will only take this first one I won't even pay hundred for for the additional one so but that's a good tip for you guys um, and for uh, people who don't have diamonds but also for people who do gold shop I'm starting to love it um, I'm always lacking socketing rods so you can buy 10 here every day so um, for gold, so 80,000 gold, I buy this every day. Synth scrolls, it depends. Um, if you have trouble getting gems, you have to buy these every day. But if you have tons of gems, um, like I have ton tons of gems because I can spend a lot of diamonds on different events. And as a, as a side product um, from those events, I get tons of gems. So I don't need to synthesize gems so much. So I don't need so much synth scrolls. So I don't buy these on... Um, on on this account but for example if I would start a new account um, and especially if it's a free player account then I would definitely buy this as well every day time skip scrolls quite expensive but I also buy these every day the reason why time skip scrolls are very useful is because when your um, hero reaches a certain level and let's check if any of my heroes are there no but basically over here um, right in this area you get a link called rebirth and um, when when you rebirth a hero he becomes more powerful his base stats become more powerful but he immediately loses 20 levels so you have to gain back those 20 levels as fast as possible ideally uh, a good tip is that he, he can still wear his um, his items but if you remove them he can't wear them anymore so um, that's why the time skip, skip scroll is pretty useful because when you go to drills then you will be able to click uh, one time or one click time skip scroll to get them leveled up pretty quickly so so that's a good tip from the shop as well and also pop into the voucher shop um, I I just look for socketing rods. Um, I'm in dire need of socketing rods always, so um, I'm getting them whenever I see them in gold shop and in voucher shop. So um, those two are generally pretty good. And in voucher shop, the socketing rods cost gold. Like here, the synth scroll costs gold. So uh, it's not always vouchers, but you, you can always uh, find maybe some good deals. So do open it, open this window once in a while to see what's there. So with that said, um, the rest of the video I'm going to be dedicating to Dragon Souls. And um, it's been a long, long time since I have been uh, since I have upgraded them and I've been gathering uh, a huge mountain of Dragon Souls. So that I can do um, this uh, this video with a, a full Dragon Soul guide, um, bringing uh, bringing up the levels, um, hopefully to maximum, improving all the items and explaining the best way to do it, and perhaps we'll even go ahead on um, on heroes and do it from zero. So we'll see how it goes. And, and so we'll do that in the next in the second part of this video and um, for now we stop here and please uh, continue to the next part to have a full 
awesome guide for Dragon Souls. And um, please do click on like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. That always helps a lot. Also, when you share. And remember, if you want to come and play on AMZ game servers, um, please uh, follow the link in the description of the video. That's my referral link. They'll get you there. It'll get you there. It's a very quick sign up, and uh, you're good to go, and you can start enjoying the game. And it's also beneficial for me because they know that you came from my videos and my recommendations. So thanks in advance for that. So go on over to the part two, um, or follow the link and go play yourself. And uh, thanks for watching, and have a very nice day.